Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as Austria Hungary. So, I'm not going to talk like that anymore, but let, like I said, let's just get right into it. Alright, so I hope, just to start this off, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, me, I think I'm doing all, doing all right, but today I think our goal, of course, will be to continue to defend our territory from those pesky Italian boys and their deplorable allies. Uh, we're also trying to improve our situation here on the Romanian front, just in case it goes active. Of course, we're also defending the coast against some British bullies. Oh, Maxis, sir, I... Let's see what happens to you. I'm led by Viktor Dunkel. Dunkel! Von Krasnik. Oh, that, that sounds very important. Uh, let's see. And, of course, we will have to be fighting some more Russians. Hopefully, we can actually get a little more Russian, or I guess technically Polish territory. And, yes, I did see this earlier. Now, last time we tried this, but they had, like, eight divisions. Now, they only have six. The horse division is four to five battalions. That's not too bad. That's, like, ten width. And the infantry they have has quite a bit more. But let's see what happens, you know. With the German allies here defending our own territory... Let's definitely see what happens, especially if I give it a little boost. Oh, we went up a number. We went up a number in 1915, April 1915. Did it go back down? Oh, yeah, I did. Now going back up. Oh, we are looking like we're doing at least a little bit of damage. Uh, if you need to help them out, yeah, that'd be great. Oh, they just added more. God dang, they're adding more units to that. Uh, uh, six divisions. Well, let's. We gotta always keep an eye on all the other places, just because. You never know when we get might might get navally invaded. Oh, the, the Italians stopped attacking here, which is really good. Oh, look at this guy. He, his name is Stoga Steiner von Steinstetten. Holy snap, you are so Austrian. I love you. So, since we're here in Italy, I always usually do infantry expert for a general trait. Because it gives you more attack, because always having better attack will hopefully reduce the number of casualties that you do take. But, because we're in Italy, and the Italians are probably most likely led by Luigi Cadorna. God bless his soul, for he has made he made many mistakes before. I'm going to go with Ambusher, just to make sure that we have more entrenchment, and we get a better recon bonus than entrenchment when we have enough command power. I just realized that. But regardless, what level are you? You are level 4. Wow, oh, level 4? You need to be under, like, some some guy, so you can get even more with some more stuff. Uh, Felix Sturm, uh, where's my, where's my command power? Uh, uh, more ground crews. Oh, I have been here. Yeah, we don't need that one. So, which actually means we can probably promote somebody, or not. We need 2.8 more CP. Well, that's alright. Let's go ahead and promote these guys to get more defense. Just in case those Italian boys decide to attack. Or, I guess, those British boys. And yes, the Battle of Luxembourg is still raging on very heavily. And it's a good thing this guy decided to sit it out, because uh, that was a lot of battles I've been in. Let's get a look at this. So, we've lost 80, almost 89,000 men. And I believe... What was that? <gasps> von Vettel Lorbeck! Oh, I love Von Vettel Lorbeck. But he's a German commander. He's one of my favorite German commanders. Uh, defending this, we won. We lost. Most of this is literally just on Luxembourg, yeah. A little bit on Dalmatia, I guess. But most of it is on Luxembourg, which is absolutely nuts to think about. Uh, Hermann Kurvis von Kurvis Haza. He's, he's both a pure Austrian. But he's also Hungarian with a Haza at the end of his name. Interesting. Very interesting. And the Germans... Oh! Despite the Germans attacking repeatedly, almost suicidally, they did manage to take a province. Interesting. A Belostock. Alright, so still trying to get this province. God dang it. This is taking forever. It's taking way too long. But it looks like we keep trying to attack, but the Russians keep attacking, putting more infantry in there. Which sucks. <clears throat> and the Turks this entire time are just getting destroyed. Absolutely demolished. Quite unfortunate. God, I need more soldiers. Uh, where are you going to? Oh, actually, I think you were all going to this army, or was it th th this army? Oh, they're going to the Romanian front, that's right. For backups, we have eight divisions, which is good. What do we need? Upgrades? Yeah, upgrades can be can, are not a priority. Infantry equipment, field guns, and support equipment. Wait, what is this? Not enough manpower or equipment in to train three of the divisions. Well, do we have enough military factories? Well, we're not even making any because we're almost out of spots to even have military factories. So we gotta make at least one more there. 
me feel good about myself. As we continue to make trenches over here. Oh god, Germany, what are you doing? No, 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 that's not a good idea. That is definitely not a... Oh, are you... Did you expect my five cavalry divisions to completely hold off Luxembourg? What the heck? I mean, I I'm fine here in, in Italy. Italy, you don't need to come here yet. You can take your boys away, but... Uh... Oh, God, you guys are not winning anymore. God dang it. That's really disappointing. Uh, but why am I defending Luxembourg by myself? God, they put ten divisions here. Holy cow. Yeah, go ahead and stop. I don't want to lose too, many, too much more men or equipment. Casualty rate for us is 105,000, and Germans are about to 800,000, and allies are pretty much 8,500 men lost. Yeah, uh, I don't know why you thought it was a good idea for you to leave Luxembourg. Please stop attacking France, please. I mean, you can attack the Russians, and you might be successful, but attacking them isn't probably a really great idea. I wish the Germans would actually like attack areas like here, because that's pretty weak compared to everything else, especially on my part of the front. <sighs> Jesus. God, guys. Six divisions in the mountains with land force is just a little bit too much for me to handle. Obviously, I don't have enough soldiers, which is always a shame. But, whatever. Best soldiers. Oh, yeah, I did want to make some 40 with divisions as well. How are these guys handling? Oh, they're 30. They're 30. It's good. But they're not really taking too much casualties. I mean, we have, like, no organization, but they're not doing very much either. Oh, look, wait. Why are my ships out here? I would re heavily recommend... Oh, Germany, why'd you do that? Not to come out here at all? Like, just go, just go home. Go ahead and repair. Like, we don't need to engage. As much as I want to kill those Italian ships. We only have 30. And if anything tells you in the English Channel, the French... And the British, and I think even the Portuguese, have sizable navies that really will hurt us. But, oh, the Germans are they're going, they're doing like work in Russia. So, uh, we got to be careful of what we do. All right, let's get some more space so we can make more factories. Are we still trying to engage? Okay. Well, just don't lose the ship. That's all I'm asking for. God dang it, they're trying to keep attacking Luxembourg. God, this is this is absolutely nuts. Why are you attacking Luxembourg so hard? How many men have you lost? Well, we've killed 220,000 Brits. Let's see, France has lost 237,000 men to us. Italy has lost pretty much 5,000 to us. Russia has lost 33,000 to us. So we can feel a little bit good. Just a little bit. Oh my god, Germany, why? Alright, so those are back down to 5. I want my guys to wait for us before they do anything else. I might attack again just because the Russians are probably trying to move their soldiers around so that they can help contain the German, th their German threat. But I might help put some more pressure on the Russians here. I'm going to put everyone in, in. Now, if we could win here, that would be like great. But I doubt we will. But we went up by a number, but you know, you never know. If I go up by another number, I'm going to be more confident about this. But right now, we're not. So I'm not feeling that much more confident. Oh, call Romania into the war. So, this will actually be very important. Since Romania accepted our offer of Bukovina, we are in good in a good position to call them into the current conflict. There is no doubt that if they decline, their people will be most displeased with them. So they decline, hopefully, they will get a stability hit. So if we do end up having to go to war with Romania, it might be just a little bit easier to take them out. Now, that's an extreme long shot. But, you know, it's worth taking. Let's see. Harsh rationing. Eh. Military factory would be nice, yeah. And dual monarchy doesn't really matter. Division training time. Population. We're okay on population, even though we'll, we're still demobilizing. Unifying the realm would be nice. But I need more military factories. So I'm going to get one military factory. That's going to take 70 days. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. What is going on? I told you guys to go home. Guys. 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 We didn't have that many destroyers to start with. No. Oh, we sunk 14 Portuguese ones. And I do always have more battleships than the enemy. So, I mean, I, I told my guys to go home. You know what? If we're going to fight in this battle, we're just going to make sure we win this battle. Oh, look at all that destruction. We lost all of our carriers. We're not, oh, God, no. We didn't lose carriers. Oh, but Romania actually joined the war. Has joined Hejaz as our ally in the Arabian... Arabian 
Is this World War? Is this the Great War? Is this the World War One? So I'm I'm fairly confident that we'll do okay here. Uh, obviously our lighter ships, all of our screens are dead. Crap. Uh, yeah, I, I need more screens, so I'm sorry, Dreadnoughts, but yeah, I need I definitely need more. So surprisingly, the Germans are attacking across the entire front, which is I would say suicidal. But we, oh my God, we actually got the absolute Mad Lads into on our side. That's freaking amazing. They've they've left the Russians have left a massive hole in their defenses, and now that does that give us access to Rome? We we don't have direct access to the Ottomans at the moment, but we do have this ocean. So now I have actually this spare army to help defend or to help attack the Russians. Oh, I can't believe that actually worked. This makes me so much more confident as what is going to happen now. Except the Ru except the Germans are literally bleeding their own men dry. Oh, those poor German boys. Oh my gosh, these horses. Poor horses too, man. Russians. Oh, yeah. Come, my brothers. Let the Romanians in. You know what, Romania? You're doing a great job. And even though you still have claims on part of my territory, which is Hungarian, but whatever, uh, we're going to make sure Romania gets its territory. So we'll get Bessarabia, definitely. Uh, Odessa. Maybe we'll... You know, I don't know how the peace conference is going to work. Okay, so you guys, did you win? All right, so we lost... Oh, we lost a free Dreadnought 1. We lost a Destroyer and a Light Cruiser. We sunk five enemy battleships, eleven destroyers, eighteen light cruisers, and six heavy cruisers. Jesus Christ! All right, at this point, just just go home. You don't have it. You have only one screen. You got one screen. Not bad, but for the love of God, just stay here. Not there, but here. Please, please, just stay stay home. We lost six ships. You know, as strong as battleships are. I, I don't want to lose you. Oh, the Italians in the... Oh, well, mostly... It looks like the French are actually attacking me here. Oh, we are losing the Battle of Luxembourg again. But, you know, whatever. What else is new? Uh, let's see. If you can, I mean... I want you to, like, slightly attack. I mean, we don't have a lot of divisions. But, you know, if, if our Romanian allies are helping, as well as our German allies... I see no problem with having an attack go on. Ooh, counter-offensive. So, sometimes the best defense is a good offense. I read this last time, but we get more speed and more breakthrough. Awesome. Now, we're going to do specific encirclement, which are trenches and fortified lines are no easy target for our troops. The wall of lead and men to fight that extends uh, seemingly forever is almost impervious to a full frontal assault. However, if we can find the weak points in the trench line, sneak through them, and attack not just from the front, but from the side and back as well, we can... Excuse me, clear enemy trenches with ease. More breakthrough and more soft attack. Yes, please. So, we got more guys here. Uh, that's cavalry. I'm gonna head you here. Good. So, this definitely extends the Russian front just a little bit, which hopefully will give the Germans and myself a little bit more room to work with. So, we are not winning this battle super well. Oops. I mean, this guy, Miklos Horthy, he's doing. He's done the best he can with what he has, which I really appreciate. Maybe someday he'll be, like, a famous leader of a country or something, you know? This Hungarian man is just... He's done so well. Some of his ships, under his admiralty, has killed 21. Some of them killed 10, 17, 15, 7, 4, 3. There's just so many ships he's sunk under his command. He's such a good general. Or, I guess, in this case, an admiral. A general of the seas. We're still trying to get this province, which we are failing at the moment. Oh, could we strike here? I doubt it. But we could try. And since the, the Russians are trying to pull their divisions across the entire front somewhere else, I'm going to say, you know, just keep going. I'm going to keep this battle going on, even though we're losing for now, so that their soldiers there won't be able to move. So, air stops. So, we got better battleships. Now we need better of those. Now, how close are we to finishing this? Uh, it's already halfway through. Uh, if it's already through, uh, we're going to keep that through. We're going to keep that for now, and then we'll change it later. So, literally, as I'm recording this, someone just sent me a message about playing as Austria in Kaiserreich. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I've done that before. I've already played through Austria once. That'd be interesting. A double Austrian back-to-back -back gameplay would be very interesting. Maybe. 
I mean, I played as him before. I know the Austria tree is still not technically done yet. Because when you... Oh, well, maybe not. I wasn't able last time to actually unify the realm because I didn't know, did not know exactly what I was doing. But now since I've done that, and I've researched it a little bit more, looked into it, I figured out how to be, create the Donal Adria board. That would be interesting. Hmm. Well, if there's enough support, maybe I'll play as Austria after this in Kaiserreich. That would be very interesting. Very, very interesting. Alright, so you guys don't seem like you're winning that many battles. So I'm going to tell you to stop. Continue the battle that you are doing, maybe except for this. This one, this one seems to be going okay-ish. Trying to conquer Odessa. Ah, it's going okay. Not great. <clears throat> How are you doing? Stuga Steiner von, von uh, Steinstetten. Level 5. Very good. Uh, you're getting more skilled Stafford, better Trickster, Urban Specialist. And this guy, you are still level 4. That's a little disappointing, but... You're learning how to be a mountaineer. Good. Uh, can't give you any boosts. Yeah, go ahead and stop, I guess, this battle, since not much is really resulting from this. So their divisions will start moving out, which is unfortunate, but whatever. It looks like we're actually starting to really kind of make these guys crumble a little bit. Ooh, yeah. So we might actually win the Battle of Odessa. Let's, let's turn it up a little bit. Yeah, you guys are not winning there, so don't worry about that. And attacking across the river is never a good idea. Right, so you're not you're done. I just said never attacking over rivers is never a good idea, but this might be able to be enough to actually crack Odessa. If we can get Odessa, that'd be really great. As the Germans are slowly pushing into the east. They are slowly pushing. As we are just holding the ground so securely here. Who's actually leading this? Oh, the the British are. Uh, how about this battle? The French are. This battle's being led by the French again. How about this battle? Is Are the Brits and the French the only ones attacking through Italy? Like, I guess they're not led by Luigi Cadorna. They're led by incompetent Entente leaders. I mean, keep going, guys. I mean, even though I'm suffering a little bit of attrition, I'm still making pretty much enough equipment that I will be okay while killing off a lot of your own soldiers. Let's see, Italy. Yeah, Italy isn't really doing very much at all. Surprised Russia has such low casualties. France has lost quite a few guys. And the Brits have lost eh, a couple of guys. That's interesting. And I'm not going to go and check that again. Let's see. Yeah, we're not winning really here in Odessa. We can wait again. We'll do it later. Alright, so our line has pretty much stopped moving. But we probably need to extend this just to cover all of our <clears throat> territory. Good, it's still going. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this guy. Oh, it looks like the Germans... Where was it? I, they looked like they had an armored vehicle up here. Yeah, the Strassenpanzerwagen. Interesting. I wonder what that... I wonder what that is. What's a Strassenpanzerwagen? It's like a... It's like, is it a metal wagon? Hmm. I wonder how that will change about field. Yeah, look. Level 2 guy versus level 5. Ah. So good. This guy. He is adaptable, like we said before, like you did, which I did at the end of the last episode. He's a mountaineer, which is finally good. He's a winter specialist, of course, an infantry leader, and an organizer. So, I mean, just keep attacking France. I mean, even though you are kind of winning here in Luxembourg, which is kind of a problem, but, you know, what can you do about it? So much XP. Now, I think this mod used to used to have, or I can't see it's because it's covered by a state transfer tool, that it had war exhaustion. And that was a mechanic in this game that, like, made the people, like, want to stop war or something. I forget exactly, but it was... I found it to be a very interesting mechanic that could be expanded upon when I used to play this quite a bit more. Let's see, Bond Division's kind of weak. Hmm, the, Ger the Germans are still attacking. Uh, I don't want to attack that much. But we'll try it again. No, you're going to help out. Uh, give them a little more force attack. Maybe that might just be enough to help push these guys out. Yeah, maybe, maybe it will. Maybe it will actually finally be enough. Alright, nope, not much is going on here. Oh, one a month. Oh, that's good. 25, so we have two destroyers now. So right now, we're just draining the enemy of their manpower. The Ottomans have lost so much. Holy crap. The sick man of Europe is definitely not doing very well. Oh, wait, you guys aren't doing anything. Help attack as well. Better logistic companies, which helped our supply usage by 2%. That's not a big deal, but it's better than nothing. 
Land, air doctrine, I mean. Eh, not really doing very much with that. Uh, how about air stuff? Oh, it is the year for a new air stuff. Triplane as the first locally designed fighter aircraft of Austro-Hungarian Air Service, known as a Luftfahrttruppen. So, air transport or drive troops. Air troop, air driving troops. Huh. At least that's my extent of my German knowledge. To a degree. We actually might win this battle. Please. Please, just defeat them. No! They got another division in here. I say no. Actually, some of these Russian lines look kind of weak. Five divisions could attack four. Eh, that's kind of risky. Five over here. So keep an eye on our supplies. We're out of guns. We're out of field. Ooh, we're actually out of artillery. That's really not good. Um, I don't want to do lower this too much. Oh, that went to there. Oh, whoops. Whatever. Uh, we might... Oh! Hejaz has capitulated. Oh, God. Oh, no! That Turkish division, the Ottoman division, is going to get killed. Oh, no! Let's see. Still making dockyards, which is good. Uh, I don't want to make anything in suit the world just because <clears throat> they're on the front line. I guess Lemborg, since we're not really attacking too much, it won't probably get that much damage. Good, we're still attacking here. The number is going up slightly, so I'm kind of positive about this. Show that our Austrian boys are a good fighting force, and it, it would be a good idea to get this. But I don't have enough command power for infantry experts since I'm attacking so much with these guys. Oh, uh, Russia. Oh my god, Germany. You know, you love attacking, but you're not winning. <laughs> but maybe we'll win here. Since they... M I don't think they're cut off. Yeah, they're not cut off, I think. Which sucks, but whatever. Let's see. Russia. Oh, wait. Didn't Russia, a few years back, maybe a decade or so, have uh, some sort of civil insurrection by, like, these th so-called people called socialists? Hmm, I wonder if we can expound upon that fact. How can we make their socialists rise up? Hmm, especially if their soldiers aren't doing so well. Oh, shit! <sighs> of course. Wait. Okay. So, you're telling me your division's invaded here, even though you can't go through Constantinople, but Russia does have control of all of this. Uh, well, you're coming over here with me. You two... Yeah, you two. You're gonna help me kill these guys off. We can't have this. We cannot have Romania get backdoored. Alright, so we're, we're, we have 93, 94. Dear God, please just do it. Put them... Oh, you became an engineer as well? Awesome. Ooh, actually, equipment capture ratio, because we're going to be out of equipment, will be very important, actually. Improved inf improvement for improvisation expert would actually be very good as well, because speed is just so important, especially in, in World War One or this great war that we're in, because you need to get in there as fast as possible. Ooh, mustard gas! Oh, well, this thing is, we have discovered mustard gas, we get more breakthrough and quite a bit more soft attack. Was there originally assigned the name Lost, after the scientists Wilhelm Lomo and Wilhelm Steinkopf. Steinkopf. We developed a method for the large-scale production for the Imperial German Army in 1916. Well, baby, we're a year ahead. I'm feeling good. Alright, additional tank technologies. Oh, I'm kind of ignoring tanks for now, just because I need... I want to get a few more things done first. Artillery. Well, we can't do that. Armor. Tank prototypes. We need to do that. But, support battalions. 1918. Better entrenchment. Better, maybe better recon. Well, are we on the defensive a lot? Yes, we are. We're on the defensive in two major points. The Italian front and the Luxembourg front. Luxembourgian front. So that's what that'll be for. Uh, the Germans are definitely holding out. So the Russians have came over here. Did we actually take the territory? Yes, for God's sakes, we did. We had almost an entire army over here. Great stuff. Two more divisions. I'm going to put them on the Romanian front, which actually we're going to call... Russian uh, front south. That's a cool name, yeah. South? No, not south. South. Cool. Oh, right. Uh, check on the battleship. Eh, it's still going. It'll take quite a while, but whatever. Actually, you know what? That'll be okay. Since we're making one a month for the destroyers, I'll feel kind of okay about, about that. Oof. Yeah, it looks like the Russians really can't keep up with their equipment production. I mean, I'm not saying I have a great amount of equipment, but, you know, we'll see what happens. So we slowly trying to expand upon those Russians. 
Now, if I move up again, there's eight divisions. I could attack with 14, or we could attack seven with 14. Hmm, what if I redeployed my line? That actually might prove to be better since... Let's do that. Let's go all the way down here. 48 divisions. Oh, do you have an upgrade, sir? No? All right, then. I didn't want to talk to you anyways. Wow, the Germans are really killing themselves. Okay, so I'm going to pause it. Armament, armament efforts, good. Let's get one more military factory. That's right, boys and girls. A whole military factory. Uh, how's this looking? Uh, oh, I also wanted to give you a general, but I'm always out of command power. So we got 1.7 a year, a month, a, a, a day. I mean, oh, jeez. 1.7 a day. 1.17. We've lost not that many soldiers. Germany, please don't kill your men off like that. You won't be able to win the war like that. French have lost over half a million. At least that's good. The Russians, not too many, surprisingly. So I'm surprised that the French have actually lost more soldiers than the Russians at this point. But, I, you know what? Especially with all these German attacks going on. Seven. Oh, our guys are still redeploying. That's what's up. Alright, so, with these two horses here, we can help attack as well. Ah, that Russian division. Not going to be able to hold out now. Ooh, we have ten backups. Good. So we have six. Now, what if I told you to guard the coast? We need twelve. That'll be good. Since we are making quite a few of these guys. And I'll have some, another one very soon, so. Ah, yes. The, the weekly attack from the Italian front. Made by... A bunch of French guys. Holy crap, France. Who is the general here? Like, who is your daddy? Like, seriously. Why do you hate your men? I, no, I could say the exact same thing about Germany, though. Let's be real. Ooh, eight divisions is not good. Eight divisions against ten. Four. Uh, six. Eh, but I don't really have that many divisions around here. Four. We're pretty equal in terms of divisions, actually. Actually... You might be able to exploit this thing. So, let's take a quick look. They have 55 combat width in total. They're entrenched, though. And they have three divisions with a total max of 27 infantry battalions and five artillery battalions. Alright. Hmm. Oh, it looks like the Germans decide to attack across the entire front. Wow, then. Wow, guys. Yeah. A lot of death. Lots and lots of death. Oh, did you guys try? This actually might be a good opportunity to try to attack this area right here. Oh yeah, what are the Russians doing? Are they reorganizing their own line? I think they are. And we took the position. Good job, guys. We're actually making advances here on the front line. Yes, I'm a little surprised. Uh, you're attacking. You're not really winning. But maybe an attack from several sides at once might prove to be... Very useful! Oh my lord, we just want, got another province. Not our province that we're going to take, but it's Romania, but I would rather have the Romanians have it than those pesky, gosh darn, Russians. Ooh. Oh, 16. Oh, that's a lot of guys. That is a lot of boys. And of course, I will try to continue making my Russian front a little larger, but I'd still have the army down here next to Greece because the Greeks have been... They've been neutral for the most part in this war. But you never know what side they might take. So my espionage efforts have been telling me that France is conducting a massive focus on, uh, or you know, a focus on massive uh, efforts, which gives them more population. They're trying to get more boys into their army so they can kill them off. Absolute genius idea. And the British, those pesky Brits, they're trying to send volunteers. Um, I'm not sure if this is, like, like counter counterintelligence or something, but... Send volunteers, why? Invade Constantinople? Oh, well then. And, of course, we're losing the battle right now against in Luxembourg, but, you know, what else is new? Conrad von Hutzendorf. Nothing. You know what, I'm just going to add you under this guy, just because Conrad can give you, maybe, an offensive doctrine boost. Alright. Just some three divisions. Five divisions. Three. Four. Hmm. Hmm. Six. Ah, number numbers games. Four. We're across the river in some parts, which is really, really good. 
Yeah, there's not much we can really redo. That's all right, though. And we're still getting attacked by, by crazy here in France. Wow. Uh, we did make another ship, which is great. Four destroyers. Not bad, not bad. Just trying to find another place for me to exploit. But there's not really any good place for us to exploit here. And this is kind of failing to a degree, so we need a little more help. Increase the combat width of this area. Thus by giving us a little more attack. Oh, they did raise their combat with division. They, they have more divisions than us. For the love of God, I hope we can win this one. Oh, they yeah, another... Oh, they keep sending in more battalions, which sucks. Stop rotating, rotating your soldiers out, guys. Ah, oh, Germany, please. I hope you have a lot of equipment, because your attacks are killing us. Oh! Ooh! They're gonna befriend Bul 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 They're gonna befriend Bulgaria. Ooh, if they do that, that'll literally give us... Oops. My apologies about that. I clicked on the wrong button there. But, uh, if they befriend Bulgaria... Um, that would give us a direct access to these lands, and we could help our allies out down here. That actually would be very, very good. Oh, we have another one now. We're almost at max ability to guard the entire kills. Actually, I'm just going to poop you out right now, just so that we have all 12 divisions here. So we can guard the entire coast, which is an extremely important thing here. Yeah. So my horses can be moved out, and then I can move half of these horses, probably split them in half, and send some of them south to the uh, Asian continent. That actually would be a very good thing to do. Yeah, this battle's not going super well for us. Let's go on ahead and hold. Uh, hmm. If I had to attack, it'd probably be, be attack this place right here. Five, nine, over 900 XP. Jesus. Ooh, another one? Yes, please. Oh, and then we're done with the Russian, South Russian front. Actually, I'll probably just add them to the front up here. Good. Well, they have four. Oh, the guys look ready to go, pretty much. So, eight against four will hopefully win. Especially with those horse divisions that aren't super thick. Or we'll just start losing. I guess that's one possibility. We actually might win, but maybe not. Uh, oh! Oh, we're actually losing on the Italian front. Hold on. Let's stop there. That's not good. Oh, we might win. We might win. We're turning. We're turning green. We are definitely turning green. Having all these trenches here is a very good idea. But we definitely need to repair a lot of stuff. So we're going to call an audible and try to repair everything that we can. While well, at least making some more military factories. And with that in mind, guys, we are going to end this episode here as the Brits are trying to invade our coast and our land. So, thank you very much for watching. What, what have we done this episode? Well, we've got Romania in the war. Truly great. We've expanded upon the attacks into Russian territory. We haven't gotten that far, but we've gotten further. Our Ottoman em our Ottoman allies are losing their battle very terribly. And uh, I just called Bulgaria into the war. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe for more, and I will see you tomorrow as we try to continue pushing into Russia and help our Turkish allies. Thank you for watching.